Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to Champak SciQ, where we teach you simple science experiments where ingredients can be found literally across the road from you. Today we're going to talk about a volcano. So this volcano is nothing but plaster of Paris, uh, a pet bottle on the inside and some chart paper. So I placed the, the bottle, uh, bottle in first, I took a little bit of chart paper and made the cone and I poured a lot of uh, plaster of Paris to make and to make the outside covering and it's set. You would have heard of the, the baking soda and vinegar volcano where you mix the two, two chemicals, throw in a little bit of soap and paint and it foams out. At Champak we try to do things a little differently, we try to make you learn about a lot of things as well. So what I'm going to be using is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. I found this at my chemist, I literally cr crossed the road to pick it up. Uh, some paint to make my lava look authentic, a little bit of dish soap and some activated dry yeast which is once again I found it across the road at a general store. So let's begin, so I'm going to throw in hydrogen peroxide first. Two, three, four tablespoons I guess, it depends upon how much of a, of a reaction you want. The more the better if you ask me. A little bit of paint. About a tablespoon should be enough. Some dish soap, a couple of squirts. So now it's time to throw in the final ingredient which is yeast. This is going to serve as our catalyst. So when I pour it in, and here she goes, your own desktop volcano. The important question to ask here is why is it that this happened only after I poured in the yeast? I poured the yeast in last and till then I didn't have an eruption. So the yeast here actually acts as a catalyst. So what is a catalyst? A catalyst is a chemical which doesn't actually form a part of the reaction. It only helps either kickstarting the reaction or it helps speed it up. Catalyst reacts with the hydrogen peroxide which is H2O2. H2O is water so the catalyst actually helps the hydrogen peroxide get rid of the oxygen, uh, the extra oxygen and which sort of rises up, it mixes up with the soap and you get foam. The next question here is why does a stable chemical like hydrogen peroxide actually let go of the oxygen so easily? That's because of something called decomposition. Decomposition is when anything, whether chemical or organic, breaks itself down into smaller and simpler structures. So H2O plus oxygen is a lot simpler than H2O2. Try this at home and tell me how it came out for you. Leave it in the comments below. This video was brought to you by Grahashobha and 1MCN. Thank you so much for watching Psyche with me Niranjan and please do subscribe.